Still beating the weatherman hasn't quite got to my 20 yet, which I'm kind of worried about because we are coming up to about the lunchtime period. It's downhill from there for the rest of the day, so we'll, we'll see. But I still believe 20 degrees, we're going to make it. Barbara said 21. Ah, not today, I don't think. But, but you know, you never know. <laughs> she may win again. Which is true, actually, she might. Wednesday, September 30th. It's the last day of the month, which is really, really, where the heck did that go? Kind of feeling, actually. i got to be honest with you. That was really quick. But we haven't done a heck of a lot this year, productively, have we? I mean, this COVID virus thing has been quite the issue everywhere. Literally, in all corners of the world. Even in New Jersey. And you know something? Today, we're heading over to New Jersey. We're going to be joined by Randy O'Neill, but first of all, let me do this. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, 17 after 11 o'clock, and for you guys that are watching this on Facebook Live right now, maybe YouTube later, well, if you're watching it on YouTube later, don't forget to do the sub, thumb, bell, you bingo, you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> yeah, you get all the notifications for when we're doing special interviews, much like our artist today. Randy O was joining us. Randy O'Neill coming out of New Jersey. Uh, I should be a, a New York cop, uh, well, actually a cab driver. You know, New Jersey. <laughs> I could get away with that, I think, really. Uh, well, I've actually worked in radio in New York anyway. So... It is an absolute pleasure to have Randy O'Neill with us, but first of all, you know the song, Here I Stand at Galaxy. So how are you feeling? I'm good. Nice, nice. Uh, I, I hope you got a stiff drink or something there. You might need one. You know, I had my... Uh, fix of chocolate because I'm totally addicted. Um, I have my tea. I'm good. Okay, okay. Uh, well, you might need a therapist afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I read she this, will study and I want to talk to you about that. Maybe I need a therapist. She will study <laughs> you. Everyone should have a therapist. Uh, Everyone. Well, you know the thing is, you don't have to be nuts to work here, but by God, it helps. You are. It does. In the that you have to be nuts to be in the movie business. Well, exactly, exactly. And believe me, we're not only in the movie business and the radio and all that sort of stuff. We're even on television. Yeah, gonna <laughs> we're going to be on a series on Canadian television, which is, I feel sorry for them. <laughs> I feel well, so she, sorry well, for them. Well, you know, Randy might do a study today on you. Oh, do a study on them. I'd be interested. Believe me. <laughs> Prescribed psychotic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in the best job of the world to be a psycho. I am. <laughs> Blood on the radio. That's a great title, that, isn't it? Yes. Yes, our good friend Jay. Blood on the radio. I <laughs> love that. Um, so, the next song up is, of course, I'm Not That Girl. But we're going to talk to you about Here I Stand. Uh, uh, probably a couple of fan questions in there as well before we move on to I'm Not That Girl. And after that, of course, Sister Sister, which, you know, these just absolutely killer tracks. They really are. Love them. And um, you know something? Um, when I first heard your music, and I don't get any information, I get a little device that I Bluetooth to my stereo in my car, and I go driving and for two reasons. Um, First reason is nobody else can influence me on whether I want to do the interview, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Second reason I is... Have yeah, exactly. That. Mine's got a really? kick-ass stereo. Really. Yeah, this morning, he gives me tracks and I take it to a car. Yeah. To my car. And I decide if I like him. <laughs> exactly. Well, you can understand the process then. But the, pro the other reason is, well, nobody wants to drive with me. What's that little voice in your head? I mean, yeah, well, you know, they kind yeah, of feel going is, sideways yeah. is not right. She's doing a bit of psychology on you, remember? Know. I love going uh, sideways. I live in the country. Speed limit's overrated, I'm just saying. Uh, well, i got to agree with you. You know? My God. <laughs> I'm right there with the doc. I am. Anyway, hold on. 
Strafen! <laughs> So here I am driving down the road and absolutely stunning music playing on my car stereo and here I stand as part of it and you know something? Today I get to introduce to the world of Galaxy and our absolutely brilliant audio audience, also our visual audience on Facebook Live, Randy O, aka Randy O'Neill. Randy, nice to have you with us. Thanks for joining us. Thrilled to be here. I am thrilled. You know, Thank you for having me. we are absolutely elated. You have been going through the roof with our fans here at Galaxy. You've made an accord with a lot of people, literally. They're asking all sorts of questions. Now, when we first started playing Randy O'Neill here at Galaxy, we didn't say anything. We just played the music. Our internet blew up. They wanted to know more. Who, what, when, where, how. Tell us. Tell us all about Randy O'Neill, well, you know, today is our chance to be able to do that. So, uh, well, it's not going to be like the average 12 questions you get from everybody else. This might be a little, well, Doctor, you can cut through it. You know what I'm talking about, right? Let's do it. Nice. Now, uh, Randy, how do we get hold of you as a fan? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? But more importantly, Randy, do you respond? I do. Absolutely. I absolutely respond. Um, I think I actually, okay, I have the uh, website, Randy O'Neill. You have to spell the name with an IE or you get this baseball player. Um, so it's randyoneill.com. I actually, the best place, if you really want to talk with me, is I have a private Facebook group called Lost But Not Broken. So Randy O'Neill Music at Lost But Not Broken. You can join my page. And every day I'm just throwing stuff up there and interacting and I love to connect with my fans. Uh, you, you know, you shouldn't have said that because now you're going to be 5,000 new Facebook fans. Randy O'Neill deal. Literally, you're going to be texting all day. You're getting no work done. That's all right. <laughs> I give away free stuff on my... If you, the Lost But Not Broken side, I, I give away stuff. Like, I have my stickers, uh, magnets. I, I give free uh, downloads. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. You know, I'm going to talk to you more about that later on because maybe we might be able to do something where we can do a Randy O'Neill giveaway competition here at Galaxy. What do you reckon? How, how exciting would that be? I would love to be able to do that. If you've got some CDs, maybe a couple of T-shirts, koozies, stickers, guitar pick, you name it. If you, We would I love to be able them. to do that. Well, there you go. My face masks are coming in. Oh, I want a face mask. Me too. I need something to cover my face as well. Yeah. <laughs> you think I'm joking? Okay. <laughs> anyway, Randy O'Neill, we kicked off the show here with Here I Stand. Very powerful song. Very powerful song. I had to listen to it a number of times. I'm an engineer as well. And really, let it sink in. Let it permeate. Tell me all about it. I almost don't want to know what you thought it was about. Well, uh, no, I'm not going to say that because... Okay, I'll tell you, because there's, there's a story behind every song. Um, I was, uh, um, I'm an, an addiction specialist. I work with troubled kids. And um, there was a competition for a song to be featured as part of an empowerment campaign. So I wrote, here I started writing, here I stand, and I was actually a finalist, but I never finished the contest because I got pneumonia. That was uh, like three years ago. And so I got better, I missed the contest, and I'm like, I want to finish this song. 
and it's the last track I finished on the, and it tur turned out to be the title track, and it is the most stripped down track you will hear me do. Um, and it was planned like that. I ran out of money too, but that's beside the point. Um, but, but it just came together very, very quickly. You know, Randy, I think some songs that have that longevity factor can be written and produced very, very quickly, if you know what I mean. And, and yeah. just have that very simple hook, which I think, Here I Stand, has that quality in there, you know what I mean? Uh, and as I said to you, I'm an engineer myself. I, I do listen to music, I break it down in its increments, and, uh, well, I don't listen to it like an average fan would, you know what I mean? That one? Yes, caught my ear. Years, for sure. Exactly, and that one caught my attention literally straight away. So I wanted to know more about it as much as everybody out in the Galaxy audience that listens to Galaxy, they want to know more about uh, Here I Stand as well. Now, at the same time, hey, uh, you say you work with, uh, um, Truto, uh, with kids uh, a little challenged in, in, in certain ways. Yeah. So I'm going to fit right in there. <laughs> Most grown men do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We, we're we little kids from all the time. We never grow right. up. <laughs> we never do. I should, I should say kids and older adults, uh, male adults, so. Yeah, yeah, we're pretty much the same, really, just in bigger pants. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we just don't know when to grow up. We don't. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. Nobody gives us the book on, okay, now you have to be this age and do these things. No, we've got to find that out for ourselves. So we stay... Is pretty much as childlike as we can. <laughs> Keep it. We, we have a rule here, Randy, in, in the office. It's called kiss, and that is keep it simple, okay. stupid. Okay. You know what I mean? I, uh, I do. Well, actually, everybody says no. That's the rule for you. Okay, that's me. Yeah. Okay, I get it. Thanks. Okay. Everybody else gets another rule. I get keep it simple. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Maybe it's my age. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, Randy, right now, and I've got to welcome along 64 countries, 97 cities around the world uh, tuned in, listening to our conversation this morning. And, well, I'm not that girl. I'm not that, I'm not that girl. Tell me about I'm not that girl. Um, this is actually a good story. It's a true story. Um, two years ago, um, I got a notice from my high school reunion. Now, I really hadn't been home in a long time, haven't seen these people in a long time, and I had a very tri tri uh, trying childhood. My parents were alcoholics, and you keep secrets as a child, right? So I'm like sitting to myself going, these people never knew me. They never knew me then. Why am I going back now? You know, I was an angry little kid, and um, I'm lucky that school came easy to me because I don't even know how I got through it because I don't remember doing homework. But um, I was smart enough enough they are caught at the things I was doing most of the time. Um, so I get this notice, and I'm like, they didn't know me then. Why are they going to know me now? Am I really going to travel back there? Um, to, to do this. So as I contemplated whether I was going back, I wrote this song. Um, and it came together very quickly. Uh, I tweaked the chorus. Uh, it got very long at one point, and my song coach was like, uh, no. Cut it down, and there it was. You know, I get that. I really, really do. And i got a story for you, too, as well. So right here, live at Galaxy 107 FM, is Randy O'Neill. Live and I'm not that girl. Drew Taylor, are you available soon? I know we've got your music. Uh, the school I went to, they would never invite me back for a reunion, I've got to be honest with you. But uh, a couple of months ago, Barbara came to me and she goes, Do you know, do you know a lady by the name of Marion? And I went, oh. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Why, have you found another kid out there or something? <laughs> and she goes, no. No, this lady, you went to school with her. And we pardon? 
here. She goes, seriously, you went to school with her? I went, I don't remember going to school with my Marion. She goes, yeah, the very first year that you went to school, she was in your class. I went... Did he be right? I sit next to you in second grade. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. haven't changed a bit? Yeah, you haven't. No. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Well, here's another one. In was lines, that, most probably. I was in an Irish pub in the biggest thought, city yeah. in New Zealand called Auckland. One afternoon I was in this Irish pub because I was working as a late night radio announcer back in those days. Uh, and I was having a few just before starting work. And I should do. <laughs> there was maybe a couple of people in some little kiosky things, but not really packed. It was, as I said, it was Irish. And then there was the barman and myself. And this guy walks in, goes to the other end of the bar, orders a drink, and keeps staring at me all the way through this drink. I'm going, what the heck's your problem? <laughs> yeah. And then he walks over and he goes, whatever he's having, get him another one on me. And I went, why thank you? He goes, it's nice to see you again, Grant. And I went, <gasps> pardon? Scramble, 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 what's going on? <laughs> Apparently we went to preschool together. <laughs> okay. Okay. And you still haven't changed. <laughs> <laughs> And that, that you haven't changed a bit. That's <laughs> insane. That's seriously true. It really it's happened. Your, it's your body <laughs> language and how you like act. That that. It's all a blur. Yeah, exactly. I think, I think things at eighth grade, I think I remember flashes and flips. And yeah, I believe, believe me, I I've had remember. those same kind of flashbacks. I really have, you know. <laughs> some, some would induced by not so good stuff and some were induced by I'm not even school. sure if they're real memory you could be making all this crap up <laughs> exactly it could be it could be anyway let's go back to the desk Gotta be careful with that thing. Do you remember uh, Darth Vader? Oh, yeah. You almost got like uh, severed there. Yeah, exactly. You almost got a haircut. You, you, almost got a haircut. you, you remember Darth Vader, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, yeah, that lightsaber thing. It's a, it's a hard hat area around here. I got to be honest with you. Come on, it's not. <laughs> it really is. Uh, Barbara's very very proficient with that thing. I wouldn't want to get her angry. To be honest with you, <laughs> I really wouldn't. Uh, absolute. Elated to be joined by Randy O'Neill coming out of, of course, New Jersey. And uh, I, I got to ask you, Randy, how long have you been performing? How long have you been writing? How long have you been singing? Because to me, you sound like the consummate professional. I've been singing forever. Okay, so I consider myself a singer. It wasn't until like college that I actually decided I had a voice and could use it for music. Because again, in my childhood, it took a while. I was a late bloomer. And um, I started writing some songs. I put a band together called AMA, Against Medical Advice. You know, and then um, I had this car accident and I had some other things happen. And I wound up just going back to school and kind of left music for a while. And I was miserable and I didn't know why, you know. And finally, I'm like, I have to get back to music. I have to start writing. Um, but as you get older, getting people to come out and play with you gets more difficult. So um, I decided I had to play guitar. <laughs> so like eight, nine years ago, no, it's not even about eight years, it's seven years ago, I picked up a guitar and seriously decided I was going to you know, start playing and singing. And 
you know, I'm, I'm really, really happy you did, to be very, very honest with you. Uh, because we've, in a very, very quick amount of time, have become very big fans of Randy O'Neill here at Galaxy. We really, really have. And a lot of it, literally, is based on how many people want your songs. It, it turns us around. We, we look at things, you know, why? How come everybody's starting to get on the Randy O'Neill bandwagon. We want to know why, literally. So we investigate this. We have a good look at the music. We, you know, understand the words uh, and the lyrics and everything like that. Then we got to ask the questions. You know what I mean? Now, before I came into the room, I, I kind of gathered that you were talking to Barbara about coming down here to New Zealand. And, uh, well, you know, no other way to put it, but Randy O'Neill, would you like to play here in New Zealand in front of New Zealand audiences? I sure would. We would. I sure would. We need to make that happen. We definitely need to make that happen. We really, really do, to be very honest with you. Now, at the same time, uh, Australia is the other island just off to the west of us. We will claim it. I mean, to be quite honest with you, there's a little island just off Australia called Tasmania. Well, you know, that's actually adjoined to the New Zealand intercontinental belt. We actually, by rights, should own it <laughs> because it is attached to us, not to Australia. Australia just parked up close to it, you know, big brother thing. Yeah, right. uh, but we do have this relationship between us. You know, it's a love-hate relationship, much like the Americans and the Canadians and ice hockey and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Right. Nothing. I do. Nothing wrong with a bit of banter, really, you know, <laughs> there isn't, I, and believe me, I like giving Australians a lot of banter, I do. <laughs> and I bet you give good banter, oh, I've heard that. <laughs> I've, I've had, had a lot of practice at it, yeah. really, I have, uh, especially if, you know, the Australians don't even know how to put the word beer on their can, uh, literally, they've only got a beer called 4X over there. Yeah, uh, you know how you can't sign your name and you put an X? Oh, I oh, got it. Yeah, they, okay. could, they couldn't spell beer. It says four X's. <laughs> well, actually, you know something? I actually did have an Australian resident ring me up one day and go, Grant, you give us too much stick, um, but we do know how to spell beer. And I went, go on then. He goes, B-E-A-R, beer. Okay, and, and that I'm was, really uh, yeah, that was his moment. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he even got a couple of seconds of fame in that one. But well, you know, we keep regurgitating that joke. Actually, we do. Uh, Randy O'Neill, talking about getting you down here to New Zealand, we would love to be able to have you in front of New Zealand audiences. We really, really would. Keeping in mind, of course, it's kind of surreal time right now, isn't it? Right, it is. It is. How has it affected you personally? I mean, obviously you're not doing a lot of shows right now. Are you writing more? Are you recording more? This is interesting. Um, when COVID hit, I had a publishing deal. And a month in, I'm like, hey, I'm ready to release. Here I stand. Where's all the press? Where's all that going? They're like, oh, we have to downsize. And I went, oh, no. You know, and I was really, really upset. And I talked to my attorney and he's like, Randy, we're gonna do this. We're, we're gonna put it out, you know how to do it. And one of the big decisions I made is my old team stayed pretty much in the United States and I said, I think that's a mistake, okay? Um, so when I decided to release it on my own um, and I start working with gear, I'm like, I wanna go international. Like, I think there's a bigger market um, for me and almost instantly he was having success you know placing me and I think it was one of the best decisions I made is to literally empty the bank and you know go for broke and do some marketing and using Facebook analytics the power of that Facebook is ridiculous to find out who's listening where and then focusing your energy there you know, uh, believe me, we use Facebook quite a bit as well, and uh, it, it is... People laugh, but it's huge, it's powerful. 
It is. It really, really is. And especially with the amount of people that we get listening, not only to the radio, but following us on all sorts of uh, streams, live and visual and all sorts of things. Uh, it's hard to keep up these days. In fact, here's one for you. Uh, next year, we're going to be doing something that's a little bit more involved with the audio audience themselves. We're actually going to bring them in and hundreds of screens around us, literally, and it's going to be more interactive with they have a question they want to be able to ask personally to the artist, much like yourself. We can drop that in. You can answer away, get to know each other, maybe even swap, you know, phone numbers, whatever, yeah. <laughs> later on down the track, and uh, be a part of it so that the audience themselves, you see, right now they get to see me, they get to see you, they get to see us on two different devices, but now if we can get somebody with an intelligent question that wants to know more about Radio Neil, that's now feasible, you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, believe me, when you come, i got to let you know though, when you come to New Zealand, we're a little bit crazy down here, you know that? I know some New Zealanders, you think I don't, but I do travel quite extensively, and um, I was on a cruise ship on a lot of New Zealanders, and I was having a blast, I really was. Nice. I've been a Nice. So, Did they ever introduce you to the Hoo Hoo Grub? No. <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling it's in my future, isn't it? Oh yeah, oh. believe me, if you come yeah, here, you see Barbara is the manager of Aurora, entertainments which brings bands into the country sets up tours does pretty much all the logistics yeah, it's a nightmare really but it does she does it so well you know what i mean and uh we get you maybe about four or five shows here in new zealand maybe about eight ten shows in australia uh, mostly because we like their money right okay yeah not because we like their four X's. Uh, anyway, uh, we get you to do a few shows here in, in Australia. And she does pretty much everything for you. All we need to know is everything you want. Your wish list. You know what I'm saying? Um, right down to where you do what on your staging and all that sort of stuff. We'll make sure that that's all done. Okay. But while we're here, we, we don't like to just work. We like to have a bit of fun as well. <laughs> and uh, well we kind of take fun to the nth extreme sometimes i gotta be honest with you we really do and the indigenous folks of new zealand is the maori now one of their delicacies is actually the hoo hoo grub now a hoo hoo grub you're familiar with a caterpillar right oh yeah yeah she's got a hand on a drink already she's <laughs> yeah. i think i know where this is going yeah okay. well this is kind of uh well it's big, it's white, it's like a double-decker bus to a mini, actually, to be honest with you. And what you do is you put the live body in your mouth, rip off the head, don't eat the head, it's yucky. But when you crunch down on the body, it's like eating creamy peanut butter. Yeah. Sure it is. Yep, and believe me, it is a delicacy here in New Zealand, it really is. <laughs> it's a must-try, i got to be honest with you. you got to wonder about the guy handing you a bowl of these big white wiggly things that are live expecting you to eat one, don't you? Yeah, that'd be grand. Yeah, that, yeah. that's exactly me. I, I'm the person yeah. to hand the bowl over for sure. Yeah. <laughs> that is totally my... I've many, many, many of these, believe me, I feel like I've got a, um, a whole wiggly worm kind of deal going on over the centuries that I've been here. So, down in the... You see, we're made up of three islands. Maybe four if you give me Australia, but, you know, we're made up of three islands. One is Stewart Island, right down the very bottom, and then... Well, whoever named this country ran out of ingenuity, literally no imagination. They called the next one South, and the one after that North. So okay. we're actually in the North Island right here. We get to see the uh, New Day first in the world, right here yeah, where we are. Right. We really do. And uh, it is literally 15 minutes away from 12 o'clock right now on Wednesday. It must be Tuesday evening over there. It is. What time is it over there? 6.45. Six, uh, going on 7 o'clock, dinner time, literally. Uh, now, let's move on then. So, down the South Island, there is a place called Hokitika that has a wild foods festival down there. 
and well you're familiar with festivals kids wandering around candy plus hot dogs on a stick stuff like that yeah not there no <laughs> down there they they kind of deep fry things you really shouldn't be deep fried i gotta be honest with you uh is where they do the hoo hoo grub and other such kind of thing you might see a kid wandering around with a deep fried Can locust I cover, uh, deep fried oreo yeah no 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 <laughs> that's that's more queenstown Great because if there's no chocolate involved i don't know if i could be there well yeah we we could jack we used to have a place called the cadbury's it's <laughs> no that's australian now. it's australian now yeah, isn't whitakers. it yeah they kind of whitakers whitakers New Zealand we could use. take in whitakers yes there's a good thank you uh believe me we've got some chocolate for you we'll sort okay. that out okay. yeah you'll okay. love it too it is kiwi chocolate as well which is the bonus not somebody else's chocolate um, but having said that down have you ever heard of Queenstown yes okay you, you'll know that it's a kind of a boutique little town come city uh, really really hard to fly in and out of I've got to be honest with you the turbulence in and out of there is crazy it really is and uh, believe me I've done a bit of skydiving down that way a lot of fun that's a challenge in its own right but uh, People like Shania Twain actually own property down there. Kevin Costner was down there just before the uh, COVID virus thing kicked in. Same with Keanu Reeves, Tom Cruise, all those guys. It's the kind of place where all the A-listers go to get away from their uh, paparazzi and their friends and take their mates. You know what I mean? I do. Yeah, what goes on the road stays there too, by the way. <laughs> anyway... Uh, you never know who you're going to bump into when you're down there, but uh, seriously, Randy, you don't want to bump into me. Not with those little crawly things. Well, that, <laughs> that was halfway up the island. We've gone down a little bit. You know, this is a whole different deal now, uh, because basically, I'll throw you off a bridge. Bungie? Yeah, absolutely. The uh, guy... Well, I, I, I really have... I'm an action junkie. I really am. I scuba dive, I surf, I was a diver, blah, blah, blah. Bungee jumping just, I don't know. It's got to be the scenery. Yeah, maybe. Believe me, we have some of the most scenic places to throw people off a bridge in, in the world. We really do. It's very, yeah. But at the same time, we can put you in that chair thing and swing you out over the cabins and stuff. That's a lot <laughs> of fun as well. It really is. Uh, have you ever tried skydiving? That's on my bucket list. That's like one of the last things, you know, that I've done climbing, I've repelled, I've whitewater rafted, uh, and I surf, and um, I don't know why I haven't done that yet. You know, it's something I, I've been doing it for about 37 years now, so if you feel like doing a tandem, I'd be more than happy to take one off, right. your, off your list. How's that? Right. Uh, when I come down, we're going to do it. Nice. I gotta be honest, I don't think I'd be able to float a surfboard anymore. It's been so long since I've done it. I was literally brought up on a surfboard way back in the day, but I've been too many years away from it now, so yeah, I don't even think I'd be able to float one now. Probably <laughs> <laughs> because I can't do it. I'm landlocked here, you know, and there's a short window that I can surf. Um, and it's always like starting over, you know. So I just yep. love it and I enjoy it. I'm never gonna, you know, be Kelly Slater, but Oh, nice. Yeah, well, believe me. Uh, for those of you that don't know who Kelly Slater is, believe me. I know Kelly Slater is. Yeah, come on now. Yeah, come on. If you don't, you're too young. He's the best Google it. In the world. He is. Yeah, absolutely. You know? I know. And if you don't know, shame on you. Go and Google it. <laughs> you yeah, should know. Google. Yeah, absolutely. And, and at the same time, Google Orca. You'll understand. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, having said this, uh, Randy, and believe me, I'm really, really interested in this. Tell me a little bit about Sister Sister. Sister Sister. It's actually my sister's favorite song, and I was really um, surprised by that. But it's really not literally about my sisters in general, although... Sisters? <laughs> it's about women not supporting each other. And when somebody is unique and different and tries something different... Women are like, well, why isn't she doing that? I'm like doing this. And 
it's really hard to be an individual. You know, I never kind of grow out of that. And, you know, I tease my sister. I, I tell everyone, oh, when I go home, they want, they're waiting for Randy to grow out of my phase and, you know, do the family thing and do what everyone else is doing. And it's kind of literally true. I've always kind of gone my own way and how to find my area of support for that. You know, and I had a look, you know, within the music community because, you know, women don't always quite understand and know how to support each other. I understand that. I do. I get it. I really, really do. So, live here at Galaxy 107 FM is Randy O'Neill and Sister. Sister. How are you feeling? I'm good. I'm having a blast. Nice. I hope the hoo hoo grub doesn't haunt you for days. <laughs> Up. I wonder if I can find some here. Well, oh, I, I tell you what, I uh, Barbara, Barbara's going to send you the video so that you know I'm not pulling your leg, okay? Uh, we'll also give you... I'm not doing it. That frightens me. No, I'm not <laughs> doing it. Yeah. Well, have, have you ever tried the um, tequila white worm? No. My sister always got it. So there, there was that. I was the youngest, so I, she always got the worm. <laughs> well, oh, maybe, maybe you got to come all the way down to New Zealand to try one. You could pickle them. <laughs> That'd be all right, pickled. You could pickle some. P pickled. Remember, my tree fell down just recently, and yeah. my neighbour was eating them. They were. They my were. my hens loved yeah, them yeah. that day. Exactly. They're in rotten old trees, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Um, okay. All right. <clears throat> You're not lost for words. No, I'm not lost for words. I'm not. I was sure just looking at the time, actually. Yeah. Really Plenty was. of time. Yeah. yeah. I love Pat Benatar. <laughs> yeah. We have a couple of minutes. Are you going to get the last song in? Yes, we will. Uh, oh, we've got plenty uh, of time. We've got plenty go of time. Over. Believe oh, okay. Me. Um, the bosses give me free reign as far as the time goes when I'm doing these interviews. Don't worry, I pay for it later and drinks at the pub. <laughs> Hi Amanda darling, I we do. loved the interview Believe this morning me. with Anne Marie. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Keep up the good love, work. Love, love, love Anne Marie. In fact, I'm wearing a t-shirt right now. I am. You two are my new favourite couple. Oh, <laughs> you? I love you too. She's my best friend, but uh, she's not my wife. I'm the wife. Hello. <laughs> nice. Hello. Uh, the wife is in the background. Doing the photos. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, yeah, you'll get a copy of everything. Don't you worry. Uh, you'll be able to show your friends and everything later going, you know, these guys need help. That's what it is. Here we go, Grant. Look. <laughs> That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. It is 6 away from 12 o'clock, 16 degrees. The weatherman's 16 degrees. Kind of scared about that, but never mind because He's we've one, already broken one. that scale anyway. Uh -huh. But we needed to get back up to 20. We do have faith. It's going to happen, really. Wednesday, hump day. That's yeah. what it is. Last day of the month, September 30th. And yeah. I couldn't celebrate it better than being joined by Randy O'Neill coming out of New Jersey and uh, it Jersey. is an absolute pleasure to have this young lady with us, believe me. Uh, she wants to come to New Zealand and I'm, you know, kind of scared her with the hoo-hoo grub and maybe throwing her off a bridge. Uh, but are you familiar with Lord of the Rings? Oh, of course. Okay, well about an hour and a half's drive from where we are right here at this office is Hobbiton, Middle Earth. We'll go and have a, have a look around it. Well, you know, the staff will have, be able to take you because I right. still look, owe them a security card, apparently. No, it's cool. in the lake. Yeah. It's in the lake. There you go. 
absolutely, you'll fit into one of those hobbit holes, no worries, you know. It's a, yeah, the party tree, believe me. And it was a party tree too, actually, I've got to be honest with you, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> it really was. Uh, but yeah, apparently I still owe them a security cart, so... Barbara, I, I, I didn't know where it was until the other day when Barbara says I placed it in a lake somewhere. Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> She's not telling me which one. We do have a number of them around us right now. And uh, believe me, I, I tend to get up to a bit of shenanigans. So if you're coming to New Zealand and you're going to meet up with me, bail money. It's all right. She'll have your sister. Yeah. She's yeah. Money. All right. Bail sister. money. All right, got it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I think carry cab fare or Uber fare too, because that's always, you need. You don't even know when you need to get out of there quick. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Cats have an exit strategy. Yeah, yeah but uh, no good if you're robbing yes. a bank at the time, believe me. Yeah, that gets it planned better for that. Yeah, they want extra tip. <laughs> they do, they do. But they don't have money anymore, it's all just... Yeah, uh, by the way... Um, these days of the change in currencies over in the United States, are you still uh, tipping or do you put it into the charge on the card these days? I'm sorry, say that again? Do you, do you still tip over in America now? Do you still leave money on the table or is it more, in, you know, in the bill when you pay? No, we still leave tips. Only larger parties do they have at, they put the tip in for you. Okay, okay. Now, you see, the last time I was in the United yeah, States, I, I'm a Kiwi. I was, well, actually, I've got to be honest with you, I'm an American by birth. I was born in Phoenix, Arizona, but I was born up since I was two years of age here in New Zealand. Uh, hence why the two flags behind me. And uh, the thing is, I could never get, we don't tip here in New Zealand. I could never get the idea of leaving money on the table. How can people... Oh, waitresses who are underpaid well yeah i get that and i think that's shameful as far as the management yeah, it's a flawed system it is it's totally flawed but you know what's so what's stopping people stealing that money well they know better you always have yeah, yeah, yeah. people that's what you that's you, you're taking that waitress's salary really because they get paid nothing so you know it just always happens yeah it, it, yeah Believe me. It's still flawed. You it, know, we should just pay them better, you know. The other thing I don't get, and this one really, really surprised me too, is a term called kickbacks. Uh, I, I, what? You, you, <laughs> this lady is working at Toshi I, off. But I don't think Americans are cornered the market on that exclusively, though. No, no, believe me. I don't think so either, but believe me. Uh, we stayed with a number of Americans while I was over that way, and one of them actually was working her tushy off, and, and literally she was getting next to nothing except for the tips, and then the management expected to take a percentage of that as well, called a kickback. Uh -huh. And I thought that was an absolutely outrageous thing to do to a person. Um, sorry, we pay our staff what they're worth. You know what I mean? We, we appreciate our people who work for us here in New Zealand. And it's not just guys. We absolutely appreciate every person that is ab ab has the ability to be able to fulfill the job. You know what I mean? And, right. And we're... I mean, some restaurants are better than others, you know, absolutely. But it, 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 it's not, not nice. I'm hoping COVID has them rethinking their business strategies, you know, um, I think it's going to be a game changer in a lot of ways. You know, first of all, people who were shunning technology all of a sudden, like, are Zooming. <laughs> you know, and now have accounts. And my mom is video chatting me. And I'm like, Mom, it's not a good time to talk and, you know, let alone see me in a video. Um, but it's going to be a game changer in a lot of ways. I don't think a school's ever going to have a snow day because... They're going to have virtual homework for them. You know, it's, it's just these little things that are going to be subtly changed. And I'm hoping that's one of them. I hope we have appreciated that level of staff and the people really on the forefront that saved us during COVID. You know, I, I fully understand where you're going with that. I really, really do. Because uh, we too like to be on the cutting edge of technology. Uh, and I, I get it. As, we don't have snow days here in well, maybe not here in the North Island anyway, right down the very bottom 
of the South Island down Invercargill down to Needham that way. In fact, that's where I went to university. Uh, yeah, we get a lot of snow down there. But having said that, I mean, we were talking to Canadians just a few months ago that were living in 50 below. Oh, yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, but hold on, I talk to Americans that live in Hurricane Alley and they think that it's fun. Some of the best real estates in California, there's mudslides and fires and earthquakes. And, and sinkholes. Um, sinkholes, don't forget about sinkholes, believe me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there's a few in the, around Jacksonville area, actually, I've heard. Oh, Florida. <laughs> Yeah, down in yeah. Florida, literally. There's a lot of fun down there with your ground. Uh, but it is reclaimed land down that way too, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, believe me, it is. <laughs> um, having said that, there's not, you know, here in New Zealand, we got plenty of bush. And we call it the bush. We don't call it a forest. We don't call it a thicket. We, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? We just call it the bush. And, and we go bush all the time especially around where we are we're actually surrounded by a forestry right here uh, in Kowido uh, but we do have three major cities right beside us you know what I mean it's we try within about an hour we can get to you know any kind of city we want if you think about it and uh, but right here we maybe about 5,000 population here in Kowido lots of forestry stuff like that so we like to call it basically a bit of wilderness and I'm wow, the, I'm the, uh, I'm seg you know yeah, kind of leading into a segue here, because I'm the kind of guy that likes to go wilderness. Now, did you write a song about me? There's a good story behind this, though. Okay, tell me about Wilderness Man. Oh, man. I'm dating this guy. You know it's going nowhere good when a story starts like that. <laughs> and we're dating, it's going hot and heavy, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden he's like, oh, by the way, I think I'm moving to Port Townsend, Washington, which is in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and I'm like, he's like, but I don't know yet. I'm like, all right. So he goes to visit it for three weeks, calls me every day, tells me how miserable he is, and it's cold, and he, you know, he doesn't like the place, and blah, blah, blah. He comes back, he sits down, and he goes, yeah, I'm going to move. What? You said you hated it. And I'm like, you're going by yourself? Because at this point, I'm like, is he going to ask me to go with him? Because we haven't been dating that long, you know? And he goes, no, I'm going to go with my sister. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. Um, yeah, have fun. He's like, but I, could, we could, I don't know when, but I, we could still date. And I'm like, no, uh, you can leave. And he, did, and he left, and I'm like... You know, why would you even start dating me? You're going to move. And now you're going with your sister. Oh, yes. Not so, sister. that's oh. wilderness, man. I'm left with a question mark. I'm sorry. That, it's a WTF kind of thing. What? Really? Yeah. Can't make this up. You're right, Harry Galaxy. 107 <laughs> FM. Here's Randy O'Neill. <laughs> Wow, really? Yep. I shouldn't have shared all that, but it's a oh, funny Oh, no, story. that's fun. I mean, you're comfortable with us, and yeah, we're comfortable yeah. with I you. That's favourite song, too. Nice, <laughs> nice. Well, congratulate your mum. She's got good taste. <laughs> she does. So, we have sinners and I saints it, next. I bet it wasn't the sister, and though, that he went with. I'm not even going to go there, <laughs> all right? It's not my story. It really isn't. Um, tell me something. Uh, have you ever tried vegan oh, sausages? Funny, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Are they made of real vegans? I don't know what the heck is in there. <laughs> it's sausage. It's Do you ever know what's in it? No. Could be you anything off food. the floor. You, just, you know, it's a leap of faith when you go with sausage and hot dogs and stuff. Really? Yeah, processed meat. Yeah, good. <laughs> you like them, though. I know you do. I do. I've never tried a vegan sausage. No, but you like normal beef or pork sausages. I like normal meat. Absolutely, I yeah, really no. do. 
I won't um, eat Just sausages. because I don't kill anything that breathes or has a I'm face. Fussy. <laughs> doesn't mean to say I won't eat something. I won't eat the sausages. <laughs> I'm sorry. You like sausages? And, and, no. You don't? And lunch and sausage is like eating dog roll <laughs> to me. <laughs> Randy, there's a story about Barbara and dog roll. <clears throat> Oh, do tell. Uh, she got on the sauce one night with some friends of hers, and one, one guy was a little mischievous. And had a party went, at my place. Had a party at Barbara's house, and uh, well, they had no luncheon, so they fed them so uh, dog roll sandwiches. Oh, I didn't eat them. We, we had the ham ones. We made a few special ones. You had so. a few ham ones as yeah, well. Yeah, but we, I had other stuff too. Uh, That's the kind of thing I would Sausage do. rolls <laughs> made out of dog roll, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lunch <laughs> That's and the sandwiches. sort of stuff yeah. I do. Mm. Maybe Barbara has a sense of humour that's just indescribable sometimes. All right. Yeah, that's why she's the co-host at the breakfast show. <laughs> <laughs> Shenanigans. So after finding out about Wilderness Man, she really didn't write the song about me, but, well, you know, what do you say to something like that, I tell you? That's a colourful kind of story. It really, really is. And, Randy O'Neill, it is an absolute pleasure to have you with us. Now, having... This fun. Yeah, I'm so happy that you are very, very happy about it. Now, are you, at the moment, recording new stuff? Are you looking to bring out new stuff? Basically, what I'm saying, Randy, is will you come back again? I will definitely come back again. Um, I do have some new stuff in the works. Um, I don't know when I'm going to be getting around to recording it. Um, I haven't gotten with my song coaches. Um, so I'm hoping to do that in the next month or so. Um, so I'm hoping by spring I should have some new stuff. You know, I would love to do this again. I really, really would. I, I absolutely love your work. I love your style. Uh, as an engineer, I compliment you in every facet of it. I can't fault your work, okay? I really can't. And uh, believe me, I've done it for a number of years. I think I know what I'm talking about here. Uh, but having said that, just lately in the breakfast show, and I'm, I'm finding this happening more and more and more as the weeks go into it now, that I'm playing Randy O'Neill more and more in the breakfast show. You know, it started off once... Randy O'Neill. Yeah, well, you can't get sick of Randy <laughs> O'Neill. And believe me, I've adopted you as Randy O. The word, it's one of the brain words. Yeah. Know, yes, absolutely. And that's exactly what it is. Now, uh, at the same time, I'm told that so far to date, 1,871 requests for sinners and saints what makes this so special? Why am I continuously playing it on my breakfast show? Why? Tell me about Sinners and Saints. You know, for one, um, I belong to a Skyline Songwriters Guild, and we support each other, and we do uh, critiques of songs, and they throw out song challenges, and one of them was Sinners and Saints. And I thought, this is stupid. I don't want to write it. This is cliche. So I'm sitting there one night, not going to write this song, and I went, you know what, Randy? If you weren't so literal about sinners and saints and realize that sometimes you're a sinner and sometimes you're a saint all on the same day, have some fun with it. And it was the first time I realized that I could write from a prompt that I didn't have to wait for something to happen or inspiration or like I could just 
and I've been doing a lot more of that. And um, it's just, a, it's kind of liberating as an artist to come to that realization that I'm kind of in control of my songwriting. You know? I, I am so pleased that you have, because believe me, this is your most requested song here at Galaxy. Uh, and I'm so the, amazed by that. The, it, it's, it's great. Um, it really is. You know, the day we started playing, uh, as I said to you, our internet just blew up. People wanted to know more about you, wanted to know. You know, there were some things we can't ask you, to be honest. They wanted to know, but we're not going to say that. <laughs> Okay, we're <laughs> not, but believe me, they wanted to know the whole workings of Randy O'Neill. And, and I think we've done pretty good so far through this interview. So, Randy, without further ado, here at Galaxy 107 FM, joined live by Randy O'Neill, is Sinners and Saints. I think the song connects with people more. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's the walking out. And the video, that's a funny story because it's a great video. And my people are like, okay, we well, need a video to go with this. And I'm like, I drove around my town and found the most interesting door I could find. Because the walking out of you, I, I knocked on their door and I said, I'm not crazy. I just want to jump around on your porch for a few minutes and, and grab a video. And you're like, okay, yeah, that's great, you know, and I, I couldn't believe it. Like, the, I'm like a <laughs> psychopath walking up to these people. And now we're like best friends, you know, like, because I knocked on their door. How bizarre. Awesome. The people are really nice. You know, awesome. they, I really believe in people. Nice, you know? nice. Um, here's one for you. We're actually doing a rock video for a band in Canada tomorrow. We're a part of their video because I met this guy on Facebook and he says to me, who the hell are you, and what do you want? And I just went, well, no, I'm just actually a radio announcer, and I kind of like your music, you know what I mean? Right. Just sort of touch base, see if you let me play your music. And he goes, okay, we actually formed a very, very good relationship. We really yeah, have. Um, and he's a great guy, he really is. So I thought I'd introduce him to another friend of mine who's a manager of a metal band in Norway. His name is Gay. And uh, they got on so much that both bands have actually collaborated in writing a song together. And, uh, yeah, well, yeah. tomorrow, unfortunately, they want me to be in the video as well, so I, they're not going to sell one now. Yeah. <laughs> Recipe for disaster, I tell you. Yeah. Anyway, um, let's wind this up, but please don't go anywhere just yet. We've got a couple of things we're going to do. Hi, Peggy, okay. darling. You still need to send me us that track, darling. Number four, number four on the country charts here at Galaxy right now is, of course, Sinners and Saints. It has gone up exponentially since we've started playing. It really, really has. And an absolutely lovely, lovely lady that's joining us right now, Randy O'Neill, with Sinners and Saints. Now, Randy, coming out of uh, New Jersey, uh, I, I thank you so much for... Uh, Talking to us here down in the Antipodes, down in New Zealand, and uh, look forward to meeting you in person. Of course, once this COVID virus thing's over and done with, yep. I would Absolutely. love to show you around our humble country and uh, maybe get some work done as well. What do you reckon? Oh, yeah. Definitely going to make this happen. Nice. It's been my pleasure. I'm just so thrilled to be here, and I thank everyone for listening. You don't know how much I love you guys. Um, and... Keep them coming, you know, keep the requests coming. And I'd love to do some giveaways of some of my merch I got here. Let's make it happen. I tell you what, I'm going to get Barbara to give you all the details of what we <laughs> would uh, 
do that. She will also, uh, of course, she's going to transpose this over from Facebook Live to YouTube so that you get a copy of that. In fact, she'll do a movie as well with uh, some of the backstage photos. And you'll get the copies of the backstage photos that they've been taking behind the scenes here as well as what Barbara's been doing. And, uh, well, I apologise now, to be honest with you, uh, because right now we're going to do uh, some special photos for ourselves, plus a little video that we're going to put on our home page of the website that everybody goes to because they don't just live stream us, they get nosy. Go and have, sometimes I feel very eagled, I've got to be honest with you, Randy, I really do. They look everywhere. Glad I got my clothes on. <laughs> anyway, we'll do that. I'm getting... Uh, getting dark here. So. Okay, well, we'll make this very, very quick, but in the meantime, you're right here at Galaxy. Change over.